Hey everybody, let's try an example of a step response for an RL circuit. So if we have the switch here at position A for a long time, then the current from this source is going, kind of flowing this way and then goes here and here. And if it's there for a long time, the current here is constant. And what is the voltage? across an inductor like this. So if the current is constant, the time derivative is zero, so the voltage is zero, which means the inductor behaves like a short circuit. So that means it hogs all of the current, right? It takes all eight amps. The resistor gets nothing. Okay, so it gets all eight amps this way, just the way that this is labeled right here. That means I is negative eight amps um, before we turn the switch. So when T is less than zero. Okay, but then when we move the switch over here, then what happens? If we reduce this to a Thevenin equivalent, which it already is, then we can just use the formula we derived last time, right here, this one, because look, it already looks exactly like that. So it's fair game. So we can just use this. I'll just copy it over where you can see the numbers. Okay, so let's solve for the current, we just plug in the numbers, right? We got this already, that's 24. I'll just plug the numbers. 24 over R is two plus I naught negative eight plus Vs over R, 24 over two. E to the minus R over L, 200 milli means 0.2. And there we go. Done. There's part A, I mean, we can Simplify a little bit, so 12 plus, oh, sorry, this is a, there was a minus sign right here. So that should have been a minus. Okay, there we go. So minus eight, minus 12 is negative 20. Two over 0.2 is 10. Okay, here we go. There's the current when T is greater than zero greater than or equal to zero. What about the voltage? Okay, to get the voltage, voltage across an inductor is L di dt. So it's just L times the time derivative of this, which we actually derived that form in the previous video also. So I'm just gonna copy and paste there right here. Okay, and then if we just plug in the numbers, Vs was 24 minus I naught R. Okay, so that, let's just simplify this already. So that would be 24 minus negative 16 is 40 E to the minus 10 T. There we go. So there's the voltage. Oh no, it's the, the initial voltage. Okay, so we need V at T equal to zero. So 40 E to the zero. So 40, there we go, 40 volts. And let's skip ahead a little bit to part E. What does that look like? So if you look here, the current starts up at, at t equal to zero, then it's gonna be 12 minus 20, so negative eight. So initially, the current is here at negative eight, it's the current, and then it converges to 12 over here, like this. Okay, so that's current. And then the voltage is right here. So the voltage at t equal to zero starts up at 40, and then just exponential decay like this. And there we go. 
Okay. Now, how many milliseconds after the switch until it hits 24 volts? So if this starts up at 40, how long for it to reach 24? Okay, so then we just take this formula right there. 40 e to the minus 10 t, and then we want the voltage to be 24. All right, so we just solve this for t, no problem. All right, just move, oh, let's go step by step. Okay, move 40 on this side. And then how do we deal with this? The inverse. Right? So then this turns into minus 10t and just multiply by negative 10. And there we go. Done. There's the time. Okay, does that make sense? Let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at the circuit over here. When we switch over, we have current right here, 8 amps which, and then again, this switch is here now, right? So that means we got eight amps going this way. So what's the voltage across this resistor? 16. And look, we got 16 volts here, 24 volts here. So from here to here, that's 40 volts over here. And across the inductor, we had 40 volts. So it totally makes sense. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. Keep on practicing and let me know if you have questions. I'll see you on the next video.